Hey y'all, it's me, Shamika, and this is another Check the Rhymes chat. I just wanted to hop on because I was thinking about this earlier, how I went through the Chick-fil-A drive through and what I shouldn't have been over there anyway, because I had just been whining about not having no money, right? Or, you know, not needing to eat out as much so I could save some money. Here I go, because on show day, um, celebration day, which is always on Wednesdays over at blackdoctor.org, make sure you check it out. It's a fun lifestyle show where we're talking about all things wellness with a little bit of entertainment and fun. But um, I usually have to run out and get food before the show. So I go through the drive-thru and I said, let me get at least something kind of healthy. I'm going to order the um, a chicken, grilled chicken wrap and some yogurt, right? Okay. And the fries. All right. I got the fries too, y'all. <laughs> so anyway, I go through the girl, I asked the girl, I said, well, what kind of dressing comes with the, the chicken wrap? She tells me, and I said, okay, cool. Get up there, get my order. They're like, you know, have a nice day, my pleasure, all the things that I would not absolutely be able to work at Chick-fil-A. So shout out to y'all because I am a grumpy grump and would not be my pleasure in all day. So anyway, I get home thinking I'm about to eat my chicken wrap, about to eat my chicken wrap. There was no chicken wrap in that bag, y'all. It was a chicken, a Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich deluxe. And as I thought about it, oh, I ate, I mean, I ate it, but I, I was a little annoyed. And what happened is I decided to call the um, restaurant back and I just said, hey, they got my order wrong. And the lady's like, do you have time to come back over and um, we'll just give you the, the wrap? And I was like, well, no, I don't have time to go do that. So she says, okay, I'll just refund it. I'll give you all your money back. So it made me think after I inhaled the food, I thought, you know what? It's almost like when we pray and we're very specific. I want this, God. I want this. This is what I want. I'm putting my order in. This is what I want. This is what I paid for. But when you finally get around through that drop through window to get your order, God is ready. God, This is God's timing and everything. And you open that bag and it is not at all what you expected. And here's the thing, y'all. I don't know if scripture well enough to, to give y'all all that, <laughs> but I just thought this is kind of like, I asked God for this, this, and this in the specific order regarding my career. The way I laid it out is completely different, but how things played out, right? It still happened. It just happened in a more scenic route that was a little slower than I thought should happen, but I still got to the same destination, right? God gave me lessons along the way. God gave me ways where I could expand and grow and it had to get uncomfortable. So the, eating that chicken sandwich was uncomfortable because all I kept thinking about is it's fried, it's this, it's this, it's this and complaining. And I was like, no, no, mm -mm. I just got my $15 back. Yes, y'all, $15. I just got my $15 back, deposited back into my account. So the meal was free. So God said, I'm gonna, here you go. You was whining about not having no money. I'm gonna give it back to you. But you're gonna always, you, you're gonna eat this. Like this will still fill you up and satisfy you. I mean, it was good though, y'all. But it wasn't what I expected to be eating today. It wasn't what I thought. So again, it just made me think, Ultimately, God knows what I need. God knows what you need. It may not be what we thought it was going to be, but it's still good in the end, isn't it? All right, that's my, my spiel. <laughs> but anyway, I want you guys to make sure you check out Celebration over at blackdoctor.org on Wednesdays at seven o'clock. Um, this week, we had the cosmetic gynecologist, Michael, Dr. Michael Reed, and he was absolutely a fun time, y'all. We break dance, we, we laughed, we <laughs> quoted 50 Cent lyrics, like we did all the things and he explained a lot of the procedures that he does on the vagina. So last week it was um, safety app or safety and dating apps, uh, relationship coach Kim Jones came and talked about like how to stay safe. So like, these are the types of topics I'm doing over there and I absolutely love it because it's a live show, but let me, let me peep y'all how this worked. So for two years, two, I was doing TMZ live, right? Every month, like clockwork, every single month, two years, not being paid 
And all I thought was, I like doing it because it's given me the experience of live TV. I have to think on my feet. I have to be quick. I have to this. And especially it came at a time where in 2021, I went on ET Canada live on their, um, their live show and blew it. I don't know if I blew it, but the comments felt like I was on a high, but, but the, the blowback, the clapbacks, the, the dragging me through the internet streets brought me to a place that was lower than low. Right. And I did not want to do anything in front of the camera anymore. And that was also at a time where I was fighting with my fibroids and my iron was low. And it was like, I had had enough <laughs> y'all like my hair had come out, my nails were split. Like it, I didn't have any energy, but I gathered my energy to do like something that I had been thinking like, this is it. This is the door that's going to open. This is my opportunity. And when it didn't go as planned, I thought this is it. I'm just going to focus on check the runs and that's it. But God had another plan because I remember sitting in acupuncture. Um, kind of That's usually a time when I am the only time I'm really, really still sitting in acupuncture or laying on the table. And I said, God, if you got something else for me, it needs to come now, please, because I don't know what to do with my career. Literally, when I got up at the table, y'all, I got a DM from TMZ Live and it was like, I said, now who sent you? Because I didn't believe it. But anyway, my point was that... God took me that scenic route of over two years because then I've been through some stuff in the past couple of years, two surgeries, hysterectomy, bouncing back from the hysterectomy, a torn meniscus, like the list goes on and on. And then you add in grief from my grandfather and my niece passing away last year. I say all that to say, I still kept plugging along. I still stayed obedient to what God said. Keep going, keep going. There were days I didn't want to sit in front of this camera and record. But because of the comments and because of God, I kept going. And so all that, then what pops up is the Grio. Now that show was 45 minutes, I think. So it was like, a you know, I did one segment, then it expanded to let's do the almost the whole show a couple of times. And so it was like, okay, these are recorded shows, but it was helping me build that hosting muscle, right? That, that on-camera muscle that I've been slowly building up over the past few years, slowly building up on YouTube. Now I'm not saying I'm the best at doing this because I still have a lot to learn, but I got to a place where here in 2021, I was not comfortable doing it after ET Canada Live. Fast forward to now, it was, I felt more comfortable, right? And then a couple months ago, blackdoctor.org pops up and I, th I hadn't even thought about that. It was like, so mind you, a couple of years ago, I was writing for Parade, writing health and wellness. Then fast forward to after the hysterectomy, we launched Ladies Edition Podcast, which is all about health and wellness for women. So do you see what I'm saying? God took me <laughs> through the valley. <laughs> this rod and his staff comforted me all along the way, but he took me beside the still waters and y'all, I'm getting chills. I told my friend, I said, don't let me find out I'm about to be a preacher around here, but I can't remember scripture. So that ain't going to happen. And I cuss too much. <laughs> anyway, the point is now I am hosting my own show weekly, having a blast, producing it, booking the guests, like doing all the things. And it is the very thing that I was trying to get to but I thought I would be doing it for entertainment tonight or something like that when I got out of college. Like, but now I feel like I'm in a space where the stuff that I am producing and, and sharing with you guys will help you too and feed your soul as it feeds mine. And that it will teach you something, educate you on whatever it is, help you maybe take a look at your own health. Like I never thought that that would help. You know, just, just open and open your minds. So I think I'm, I'm just very grateful. And so when I ate that, that chicken sandwich and gosh, it was good. <laughs> it just made me think like, I should share this story with you guys before I forget it. Um, I could have written it in a blog, but I would have forgotten it by the time I sat still long enough to do so. So I just want to say that just because you ordered something and it's not with, and you get what you didn't order, at least maybe some of the order is right. 
but you got to trust God, trust that it's the right thing for you and, and trust that he's got it. And, and you may not, you may not see how it's going to work out, but in the end, it always works out. You just have to have faith. So, um, more check the rhymes comment, uh, content. Goodness. I can't talk more check the rhymes content coming soon. Um, ladies edition, we're finishing up season two and more celebration. We, that train keeps chugging along every Wednesday at seven o'clock on blackdoctor.org's Facebook and YouTube channels. We are live so you can ask questions, interact with whoever the guest is. Will Downing came on there and it was, um, while the topic was heavy, people were still glad to like be able to actually interact with him, you know, by asking questions in the comments and him answering it. So it's been, this has been such a great thing for me and being able to fill in on other shows and try to pronounce words that are medical terms that also lets me know that I need to go back to Gray's Anatomy School and get my, um, you know, what is it, uh, maybe another medical um, degree. <laughs> a TV medical degree. Anyway, I'm going to get off here because I'm tired. I've been um, talking for the past 45 minutes and my voice is starting to go dip down to the valley. So I hope you all have a, a great rest of the week and I will see you soon. Bye.